Well, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, this forum with uh, Dr. Taha Hashimi. He is the producer and the director of uh, Hamlet at uh, Baghdad.com. And uh, today, actually, I uh, received an email from uh, one of my colleagues that the MIT is interested in getting the film and add it to the archive in the MIT because in the MIT, uh, they have archive for all films that made uh, about Shakespeare and Shakespeare plays. So this is really a good opportunity for uh, Dr. Taha and I will share that with Dr. Taha and I will put him with the person that uh, contact me from this. So this is, this is a good thing. Uh, as you know, uh, we started the International uh, Education Week yesterday. Uh, the International Education Week was, uh, came about uh, in 2000 uh, when President Clinton was our president. And then the, uh, the State uh, Department and the Department of Education collaborated together to keep uh, the, the dates or the week. So now uh, throughout the United States, um, this week we started the celebration of uh, uh, education. And Bridgewater State University, as you know, is a teaching institute and started really with, um, you know, dozens of uh, students, female students especially, and, and we started as a, a teaching institute and now we are a university and we provide as Bridge, Bridgewater State University, we provide the largest number of teachers in the States. Can you imagine that? So it's, it's very, very, I'm, I'm very honored and delighted to have this, this forum with Dr. Taha because yesterday we had something about international education and we shed some light on that. But today we're gonna talk specifically about uh, something creative. Our sponsors, uh, thank you so much. We have the theater departments with us. They sponsor that. We have also the, my office. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm uh, Dr. Jabal Ubaidi. I'm the academic director for global uh, programs of the Munich Institute for Global Engagement at Bridgewater State University. So we, we sponsor, we organize these things, but theater department is, is sponsoring this also. The, the U.S. Uh, uh, the Department of Education from Washington, D.C. is sponsoring uh, this, thanks to Dr. Uh, Maduro. He's the director of the MENA Institute for uh, uh, MENA Studies Program, which is Middle East and North Africa. Uh, he was with his team, uh, got a, a grant from the U.S. Uh, Department of State, uh, Department of Education, sorry. And so uh, they are sponsoring that with us. And the most important uh, uh, really uh, uh, sponsorship came from our very strong program, which is the film studies. As you know, in Bridgewater State University, we have, we offer a minor in film studies. So thanks to uh, my friend, Matt, they sponsor this, uh, this event and also the Department of Communication Studies. So as uh, you see, a bunch of us uh, work together collaboratively to, uh, to do this. Now, uh, uh, for Dr. Taha, I have to do a, a disclaimer. Uh, yes, Dr. Taha, uh, now he is my close friend, but he was my former students, a bright student when he was in both an undergraduate and undergraduate. And uh, he came three years ago and he visited us. Uh, and I think some of you probably uh, remember him. And he stayed with us about uh, one week and he gave us uh, some of his uh, knowledge and wisdom in terms of filmmaking and also uh, about uh, writing a uh, script for film. We enjoyed his, uh, his visit and hopefully we will bring him back to the campus. But now, and I remember uh, vividly that he uh, was talking about his production. Uh, it was a dream, but the dream has been materialized and now we have it uh, as a film that hopefully you have the chance to, to see it. Uh, so welcome to you, welcome to Dr. Taha, and thank you to Sam, who's gonna be uh, our interpreter. And uh, I hope uh, now we're gonna enjoy it. So I will send it uh, to my uh, uh, colleague, uh, Dr. Christina Hoddle. She is an assistant professor 
at the Bridgewater State University, the Department of Communication Studies. She is herself a, a filmmaker and a documentary filmmaker. So, uh, Christina, I send it to you. Thank you so much, Jabbar. Yes, uh, I am Dr. Christina Hodell. I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Communication Studies at Bridgewater State University. I am a filmmaker and a film teacher. I also happen to be a Shakespeare fan. When I was a student, I actually made a movie about Shakespeare coming back to life. It was the year 2006 and I made that made this, he came back to life in the year 2006, he wrote a new brand new play. So when I found out that there is like a movie being made about Hamlet, one of my favorite Shakespearean plays, I was just so excited. And I couldn't believe that this was like about Hamlet in Iraq. So I just thought, how, how could this be? Because I'm really curious about the translation and what's gonna get lost in translation if it does get lost. When I think of William Shakespeare, I think of that beautiful iambic pentameter, that uh, just the rhythm of, of what we're hearing in the poetry. And I thought, if this is gonna be in Arabic, what's it going to sound like? So I was really curious about the film. And as the film opened up, I was pleasantly surprised to uh, see what appeared to be not necessarily actors, but uh, just, just citizens of Iraq talking about what they felt like their life purpose was. Cause I thought, ooh, that's very Hamlet. Hamlet, for those of you who know, there are many themes in it, but a lot of it is about, well, what should I do with my life? Who am I supposed to be? So, we, so uh, the movie sets up these questions. Then we actually get into the film and boy, it's told in the most interesting way. We see this, play develop, we start with auditions, going into the rehearsals, and then it's the an actual performance of Hamlet. But this is all interspersed with two things. Some of it is uh, film clips from American films, which I thought was interesting because now we're kind of hearing some of the lines spoken in English, but some, some of this building up to the play is also interspersed with uh, what appears to be almost like interviews, like documentary style interviews, even though this is fictional. So we have these experts kind of talking about the philosophy of Hamlet as we're still learning about the story and this, uh, the, the new generation, the college students working with their professor to try to uh, interpret Hamlet. And I know, and Dr. Taha could tell us more about this later, that there was this question, like one of the reasons why you wanted to make the film was because we're all trying to figure out a lot of different things. Can this translate over? Are these themes universal? And your uh, unfolding of getting to that answer was quite interesting. My favorite part of the film was when we actually do get to hear one of the actors recite lines from Hamlet and it's all in Arabic. And that was the moment when I thought, oh, this is so beautiful. No matter what language, it just, it, the poetry of it, uh, it did still come out even in Arabic. And I don't even know Arabic, but it sounded beautiful to me. Uh, so I'll let you go ahead and talk about that. But I walked away from the film thinking that, yes, this is universal. And there are many different ways to tell a story. But overall, there's one theme that ties everything together in Hamlet. And that theme came out in the film, too. So what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and to refresh everyone's memory, we will watch uh, the trailer of the film. And then we'll go ahead and we'll start out with a couple questions that we have prepared. And then we'd love to open it up with questions from our virtual audience here, because I'm sure you all are eager to speak with Dr. Taha. So thank you, Dr. Taha and Sam. I'll go ahead and I'll play the trailer and then we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. And by the way, if you do have questions, you're always welcome to put those in the chat box at the bottom of your screen. You'll see a little icon there. You should see one that says chat and we'll go ahead and be monitoring, monitoring those questions as our Q&A progresses. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just get the film ready. And I'll go ahead and share my screen so that we can all see it. Okay, could everyone go ahead and see my screen? Great, we'll go ahead and we'll watch the trailer. Oh, it's not. 
Beautiful. I love the music. That was actually something else about this. I'm going to have to ask because the music is just so beautiful. Okay, I'll stop sharing now. Okay, so actually, Massachusetts homeowners, if you have a power meter like this on the side of your house, you can get uh -oh, paid so, to go solar. In. Absolutely no cost. On you. my end. Okay, I think I stopped it. Sorry about that. Okay, so Dr. Taha, I was wondering, how did this film even come into being? Like, what was your uh, impetus for making it? Oh, and don't, you're still on mute. So if you can go to the bottom, great, yeah. thank you. Yeah, we unmuted, so we will not have conflicts in, with, with the audio. So he got your, uh, your question. Uh, first of all, he loves uh, the College of Fine Arts uh, and as, theater as, as department, a specialty theater department, uh, and uh, my professor, oh, and all his professors and uh, instructors throughout the years. Whom all of them are uh, amazing directors uh, in the entire country. Uh, and some of those directors already graduated from uh, Stockman, uh, from Chicago, Stockman University Institute, Institute, uh, uh, Institute. Institute from uh, Chicago. Professor Ibrahim Jalal, Professor Jafar Saadi, Professor Bedr Hassan Farid. Those all were amazing directors and they made a masterpiece from nothing. All, all, all the professors that he mentioned already, uh, the, these professors made uh, an entire theater industry in the country out of nothing. And they have uh, all the uh, privilege in, in this industry and it all belongs to them. And that's one of his motives. المتعصب. <laughs> Uh, um, with, with all the uh, uh, cultural traditions that uh, exist in the country, uh, also the uh, ex extreme extreme uh, religious views that we had here, uh, making a, a free goal come on theater to do an act uh, that was all because of them and it all belongs to them all the all their efforts and that was back in the 30s and 40s of the last uh, millennium oh how low academy stanislavski asas استوديو الممثل في أمريكا مارلون براندو وجماعته. and um, they changed the entire uh, acting and they changed the entire acting uh, um, sphere uh, back in that time and they made it into a very elegant and uh, pure one and this all all of it uh, all, all all the sophisticated. Terminologies that he mentioned already, uh, yeah, and that that is all because of them. The 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 the
يعني ومنهم دكتور جبار وغيرهم فوضعونه في قلب العمليه الثقافيه والفنيه في العالم uh, I'm the result uh, Dr. Taha mentions that he is the result of uh, uh, some youth uh, actors who studied all the univer- in the um, prestige universities around the world and they brought all of those uh, knowledge uh, one of them is uh, Professor Jabbar who's here with us and uh, he, he the, all of them taught us and that was just based on the founding fathers of the entire Iraqi uh, theater that was based in the 30s لذلك من سويت هذا الفيلم هو تحيه للكليه وتحيه لاساتذتها وكل واحد طلع بالفيلم بملامح من اساتذه القدماء وخاصه البطل الرئيسي بملامح من استاذنا المخرج العظيم بدر حسن فريد and the 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 way he did the the movie was uh, as a, as an appreciation for his college and for all his uh, instructors uh, sorry uh, and uh, the the main actor has uh, some resemblance of uh, um, uh, yeah uh, الهام اللي تقدمت بالعراق هسه جايب لك الامبشن سبب ما قدمت في العراق على خشبه المسرح عشرات المرات وبمعالجات متنوعه هاملت was uh, presented in Iraq on many theaters and different times dozens dozens of times with different uh, ways and different uh, methods and processes and uh, that is one of his reasons to perform Hamlet in this way. مقاطع من هاملت ومن عطيل ومن ملك لير تدرس بدروس التمثيل يعني الطالب يعتبر براكتس وتمرين وواجب يحضر مقاطع هاملت اوتيل اند اذر اذر اكتس ان ثياتر ذي ار كونسيدرد از هوم وركس اند بارت اوف ذي Uh, and part of the educational materials in, in the university that all the students have to perform and do as uh, on day on daily basis okay هذا يعني خلصنا هاملت السؤال الوجود الرئيسي ماله بي اور نوت تو بي ذات سكويشنز ليس خاصا بهاملت الدنماركي او هاملت الامريكي او هاملت المكسيكي هذا سؤال عالمي عند كل انسان بالعالم the the question of to be or not to be for the character of hamlet is, is not related to uh, an american or a, a, a dutch or a mexican uh, hamlet it's uh, uh, it's 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 an universal question for everyone in the world ولذلك العراق الان السؤال مطروح بشده خاصه بعد تصاعد الارهاب وجود داعش تهديد المراكز الحضاريه اللي بالعراق كلها المتاحف مراكز الفنون التشكيليه الكذا يعني واضح عندك yeah. فاصبح السؤال اكون او لا اكون مهم جدا ان يطرح الان and the, the question of to be or not to be especially nowadays in Iraq is very essential for everyone in Iraq because uh, with all, with all the existence of violence ISIS and uh, attacking all the cultural institutes in the country so this is a fundamental question <laughs> for for everyone in the country so with everything that an Iraqi citizen facing from all the difficulties in in the country so that's uh, a very fundamental question <laughs> من هذا كله لما طرحنا السؤال عن الناس اللي بالشارع انت منو؟ من انت؟ ماذا تريد ان يعني تصبح؟ اجابوا ببساطه وكانهم هاملت ولكنه هاملت شعبي. In the movie that Dr. Taha showed when he was questioning normal citizens on the streets and asking them who are you and what you want to be it was uh, all, all the people بصابة. just all the people just turned to be uh, simply to uh, واضح. To, واضح. To, to hamlet uh, because they were answering what they want and what are their ambitions in the world so they and are life. in different ways you want to shoot another question christian sure i was curious you answered a lot of the questions that i had but actually i talked earlier about 
uh, just as you said, we talked to citizens on the streets, then we got into the story. We also used footage from American films. So I was curious about, can you tell us about your process in structuring and editing the film and why you decided to do it in this way using like actors, but people on the street interviews and, and footage from other films. Why did you do it that way? Uh, mm. he, he, he's funded of Bert 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 Bert. Yeah. He, he's in love with that uh, one. Uh, and uh, uh, his aim was not to make uh, the audience just to look at the movie as uh, just beautiful goals and without an uh, or just beautiful people with no uh, Nothing to understand. He wants everyone to understand it with a very constructed way, in a very uh, constructed way. Also, I'm affected by Oliver Stone when he uses the documentary in the film. Also, he's uh, affected by uh, Oliver Stone, who uses documentaries in his movies. Uh, and uh, many directors, I mean, many directors use it. المقاطع الوثائقية داخل أفلامهم ومنهم مخرج عراقي شهير هو محمد شكر جميل. And many directors use this method of uh, including documentary clips or documentary movies into their uh, films. Uh, one of them is uh, director محمد شكر جميل. Director محمد شكر جميل. الوثائقية اللي استعملتها مو شرط هو شريط وثائقي ليس شرطا شريط وثائقي ولكن صنع بنفس وثائقي. Uh, the the documentary that he used it was not uh, as a documentary, but it was made to be a documentary in, in the movie and, and within that concept. Great, thank you. You know, I was thinking Hamlet is very much about contemplating: is living worth more than dying? As you mentioned, that idea of to be or not to be. Um, so it's you know about why we exist and what our purpose is here on earth. And as we've spoken multiple times before, you even open up with individuals discussing what their life purpose or meaning is. I wanted to know what you, Dr. Taha, what you think your life purpose is. Uh, <clears throat> السؤال الرئيسي لم يضعه هاملت بالنسبة لنا وضعته الوجودية سارتر وقامو وغيرهم. Um, the the question of Hamlet was not made by him. Uh, it was uh, done by uh, Sartre and uh, Camo. And Camo. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <coughs> هذه الأسئلة الوجودية كان كل الجيل الستينات والسبعينات. Uh, uh, all, all these questions were uh, asked by the generation of the 60s and 70s and it was reflected in all the acting and all the theater acts and uh, ev ev every art was uh, made in that era. On top of that. Hamlet تعتبر من التراجيديات الكبرى في العالم. Hamlet is considered one of the biggest tra tra tragedy theater acts uh, in the world. Uh, Hamlet has a direct impact on everyone who is in love with the uh, theater and uh, in art as a, as, as a general one. واللي زاد هذا كله هنالك كتاب اسمه uh, ما الذي يحدث في هاملت؟ uh, to, to, to add on top of that there is a book that says uh, ما الذي يحدث في هاملت؟ what happened, what, what, happened, what, what happens to, in, in Hamlet؟ in Hamlet. Uh, هذا الكتاب uh, فيه تأثير كبير عندما تقرأه كيف تستطيع أن تستمتع uh, بهاملت؟ الشخص اللي كتب هذا الكتاب 
بس فكر بمسرح حياه هاملت 16 سنه. This book shows exactly how Hamlet thinks and what is the entire Hamlet act is about. And uh, the, the writer has spent 16 years uh, thinking about uh, and studying the Hamlet by itself. <laughs> to explain and uh, to express all the ideas. Um, Uh, as, a, as a human being, as a, as a professor, as, as just a normal person, uh, he, he, he reached to a point that he was uh, fed up with the postmodern uh, uh, w- 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 which just destroyed the entire uh, uh, theater and everything that he, he, it means to him. Which, which made everything superficial. While it back in Shakespeare time was presented uh, in the, uh, in, for, for, for the local people and the uh, normal uh, poor people, which everyone was able to enter their, uh, the play for only four cents. وهذا انا المشهد يعني طلعته شكسبير ان لوف طلعت هذول الشعب العادي شلون قاعد يشوف المسرحيه معقوله هذول يفهمون المسرحيه احسن من عندنا حتى ما بعد الحداثه ان 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 ذا موفي ات سيلف دكتور تاها شوت ذات فور ذا تريلر اوف شكسبير ان لوف وير بيبل نورمال بيبل وير جوينج تو ذا ثيتر اند ذي وير واتشينج هاملت اند هي وندرز ذات Could it be people at that time would have understood uh, Hamlet and we now we cannot understand it? Is that how it is? Thank you so much. Christina, let's, uh, let's uh, ask our audience if they have uh, entertained some questions now. Exactly. If you guys have questions, you can put it in the chat. You could use the little like raise your hand function on there. Okay, I see Hassan Aljaber probably said your name wrong. I'm sorry, but I see you with your hand up. What's your question? Oh, we can't hear you. You're you're muted. So go down to the bottom left of your screen. And okay. Click, there you go. Okay, you got me? Okay, yes. thank you very much for this great opportunity. And thank you to those who make it easier to communicate with our friends and all, all the, uh, you know, colleagues like Dr. Taha. Uh, by the way, he graduated 1978. I graduated from the film school in the Academy of Fine Arts uh, in Baghdad University at 1979. And I would like to use this opportunity to say hello to Dr. Jabbar. I haven't seen him for a long time. And uh, yes, it is, it is a big challenge. It is as Um, Hamlet said, to be or not to be, to make a film, a movie in Iraq. It is a big challenge. I'm from there and I know how difficult in a country with a lot of destruction, um, like either, um, you know, um, post 2003, you know, what's the situation look like? There's no need for me to tell you. For someone like Dr. Taha, to um, take this challenge and make um, this movie is something of a great. I saw the, the, the movie many times. I was happy, a lot of notes, but at the same time, let me say thank you Taha to, to boost the, the hope that we can do, we still can do something in Iraq. There are a lot of people who are actually optimistic that what, what's going on is not something permanent. It definitely, it will go. And like these hopes, uh, these candles of hopes are really um, everywhere. Um, 
the, 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 the movie, the idea itself is not something easy for people to tackle um, a classic um, theme like in Shakespeare, like in Hamlet, and to bring it into, uh, let's call it a realistic treatment and reflect the idea or the theme into the situation, the current situation in Iraq. You guys, you have no idea about what it looked like in Iraq. Um, let me talk about that and how this movie actually, whatever, whatever the, the quality of the film is, but the theme is great. Uh, to see Taha on the street um, asking the same question, to be or not to be, to the average people of Iraq, to the students, to the elderly people, people on the markets, on the popular, you know, areas in the, in the mosque. And at the same time, he tried to show us some of the beauty and some of the, um, you know, um, local Iraqi ambience when he show, when he shows the, 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 in the mosque, someone is reading from Quran, which is, goes into a different, you know, um, we call it maqams, to show people on the street, all that was great. I have many notes. Uh, thank you, Taha, you sent me the, 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 the movie before, the film before, and I had the opportunity to look at it. But technically, to make a film in Iraq is really a big challenge. And Taha was up to that challenge. I'm sure he himself, if he got all the situation, the ideal situation which we have here, by the way, I'm a photojournalist. Now I'm freelancer. I worked for CNN and Associated Press for 15 years before I come to my compulsory, <laughs> compulsory, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, whatever, you know, I came to the United States, but I know the situation there. It is difficult to get uh, like a, a, a good camera it is difficult to put together a working team to produce your film. It's really difficult. Thank you. I know his camera and his cameraman was not very good. I'm sure that if you ha if he had a, a good cameraman, he can make a better like um, picture, a better. Um, composition, uh, a better whatever related to the camera. But in the end of the day, let me say thank you, Taha. You actually, you brought all the nice things into ourselves. We all are suffering from what's going on, the chaos, the, the people, especially young people losing future hope in this country. But these are the effort by the elite people, people like Taha Hassan, Dr. Taha, who, uh, you know, bring all the hope to us that... Hey, doctor, so let's give other audience uh, opportunity to speak. Okay. Uh, we, we appreciate the, the notes. Now, uh, I just have a question. Uh, so you have the the writer, the script writer is uh, Dr. Uh, Abir, I think, or uh, was your colleagues in, in the university in the uh, College of Fine Arts. Now, so you have you have a, a writer treatment, and then you have the director treatment. So, was how did you balance between the two to make this form of a presentation in Hamlet? Sir, sorry, uh, Professor, but your voice was breaking. Can you just repeat the question again? Sorry. The, the question is, 
uh, I know the writer, the script writer is from the same college, right? Uh, now, uh, she has her own treatment. And then as a director, you have your own treatment. How did you strike the balance between the two? Her vision and your vision. القضية الرئيسية اللي لم تكن أنت المخرج كاتب السيناريو فيجب أن يكون كاتب السيناريو متفق معه ومتفق معه من المشهد الأول. So if Dr. Tan mentions if you're not the uh, scriptwriter and the uh, director at the same time, you need to be uh, in alliance uh, with the uh, script scriptwriter right from the beginning, and that what happened with uh, his colleague. لا يكفي أن تكون سوية من البداية وإنما يعرف أحدكم الآخر جيدا بما يفكر ويحترم تفكيره. It's not only to be uh, on the same page and write uh, from the beginning uh, working on the project. Uh, they, you both have to know each other for a while and a long time so you would understand each other's ideas and respect each other also. Dr. Aban Jabbar, scenarist, Telmithi, بالبكالوريوس وبالماجستير وبالدكتوراه. The 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 scenarist who wrote the uh, script uh, was his uh, student uh, for, for for bachelor degree, uh, master's degree, and also PhD degree. And وعائلتها قائي. And also uh, her family is uh, is a close uh, is a close friends to him also. عقلية ممتازة. ومفكرة سينمائية ممتازة ولا أعتقد أن أحد يستطيع أن يحلل فيلم بجدارته. Um, she has a, an amazing mentality and great uh, um, creativity to to write uh, such a script and I don't think there is anyone who can analyze, an, an, analyze a, 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 film. A, a film like she did. Uh, من ناحية ومن ناحية أخرى and if there is no harmony between both and an understanding, there will be no uh, movie on such a level. Thank you. I'm supposed to ask a question. Yes, please. Okay, Margaret, what's your question? I, um, my question, and I apologize, I haven't had time to see the movie because I have, um, I found out about this event very recently. I'm looking forward to watching it. Um, but I'm interested to ask you how you see your work in the Iraqi Hamlet tradition, because there has been so much from Jabra Ibrahim Jabra, who left a deep mark, um, all the way back, Sami Abdel Hamid. Um, even now, um, there are new Hamlet adaptations coming out, um, Dr. Khazal and Majidi. As we speak, uh, my friend Munad al Daoud is rehearsing Jawad al Asadi's play, Shebek Ophelia, in Baghdad in the National Theater, with everything happening with insecurity and COVID and everything um, that's going on. So there are many interpretations flying around. and. If you can try to talk about how you see your work in that tradition. Uh, uh, so he 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 based his uh, work on Jabra uh, Rahim Jabra. ليس لأنه صديقي ولكن لأنه متفقه في اللغة الإنجليزية. Not only not because he was he's his friend but because he's a, a ver, very uh, fluent and very uh, great in english language uh, not, not only because uh oh looks like we lost them yeah power off <laughs> The power of. <laughs> it looks like maybe that is what happened. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, no signal. It's dark. 
we'll see if we can get them back in a second. But Miranda, thank you so much for that comment. Uh, yeah, you're right. I think the way that this film plays out, it, uh, it it's not just about answering like, should I or shouldn't I to be or not to be? It's about how, the process of it, how are we going to do that? So yeah, definitely. I was thinking that too, the whole the whole time I was watching. Yeah. Oh, back. you're back, yay. Yeah, hey, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, it's very clear, there's no power. <laughs> oh, no power, uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, so we're facing some technical problems with the power. So uh, coming back to the question from Margaret. So not uh, as Dr. Taha mentioned, it's not only, yeah, we're back. Yeah. So, so as Dr. Taha mentioned, he based it on uh, his interpretation, not only because he's a novelist and uh, he's, he, he's an Wait. artist, but he's a re really creative person who knows and understands uh, his work in a perfect way. I think that the sentence has a feeling of clarity. And I, 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 I feel like Jabra has a, a, a feeling about uh, Shakespeare's work. Uh, sentence. Shakespeare's sentence. Yes. I'm happy because I remember the most famous friends. And from them, my teacher, Sami Abdul Hamid. And he, he's glad that you mentioned all of his uh, friends. Uh, and one of them, Jasmine? Sami Abdul Hamid. And one of them is Sami Abdul Hamid. And I have seen the uh, act uh, in, in Hamlet in, uh, in uh, Arabian. 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 As Arabic. As Arabic. Uh, <coughs> uh, Hamlet. And Bedu, Gul Bedu, he can in Arabic, for Sahab Bedu. And in the act, he, he showed uh, in that act uh, uh, the, the residents of the uh, desert, and Hamlet came out of uh, these Bedu. people. Yeah. <laughs> Bedu. Yes, and he came, uh, Hamlet w was part of them, yes. In the Arabic, in the Arabic, I will be able to and in the Arabic literature, there are hundreds of Hamlets. Uh, and I can count from like 2,500 years ago till now, uh, tens of names. Arwa ibn al-Ward. Arwa ibn al-Ward. Ta'abbata sharran. Ta'abbata sharran. Al-Tarammah ibn Hakim. <laughs> in, in Arabic, this is Asma. Like, all, all, all these Arabic like names. Michael, like Johnson. Yeah. Asma uh, in Arabic. Hatta al-Asr al-Hali, Ihsan Mardan, Ujan Dammu, Kulum Dori, Yani, Wujudiyin. To this generation, which uh, he also mentioned a couple of names. All of, them, all of them, they have the same question of Hamlet. I think in. And I believe that what we've done in the cinema was more progressive and more advanced what, from what happened in the theater. This is shows how difficult life is there. We'll blame it on uh, my friend Hassan. Yeah. <laughs> how are you? Uh, yeah. Okay, but Dr. Taha, if you just repeat what you have said, because we Dr. had Dr. like Hamish technical yeah, problem. That... Yeah, yeah, we had technical problem, and there was. يعني أشعر أنه المسرحيات القدمة عن هاملت إمكانياتها محدودة أولاً وعتيقة طراسة عتيق. And I feel all the uh, theaters that was done previously on uh, Hamlet they are old fashioned and uh, they they have an old style. وأنا أعتقد أن هذا التمثيل الطرازي uh, تلبس شخصية هاملت اللي يتكلم بهذه الطريقة. A kain, an am gayra kain. 
الطريقه يعني اندثرت هذه اكل على الدهر وعليها وشرب ذا ستايل تو بيرفورم هاملتس كاركتر ان ذا واي ذات دكتور طه جاست بريزنتد ات اتس ا فيري اولد فاشن وان ويتش هاز بين جون اند اتس نوت انديرستاندبل فور ايفري وان واكثر الاشياء دمارا فيها المبارزات اللي تحدث داخل المسرحيه كلها مبارزات مصنوعه ويؤدوها ناس محترفين مبارزه يعني ظاهر انه واحد من يدير الاخ يعني and uh, the, the, all the uh, sword fights which are happening within the uh, act uh, they are just seen to be performed by professionals and they are not relating to anything that we have nowadays so uh, it's they are not acceptable المسرحيه المسرحيه اللي تقدم يعني على المسرح الواقع جمهورها المثقفين نتماها ويا النص الشكسبيري يعني نسافر مع النص الشكسبيري مع الجمله الشكسبيريه مع كذا ولكنه يعني مو شعبي ليس نصا شعبيا and the, the way all the acts are being performed uh, on, on every theater uh, the problem with it they they're all come in a, in a in a style of shakespeare but they they none of them uh, tackle with the uh, you know with the local people and uh, the local understanding of people السينما يجب ان لا تتنازل السينما الروائيه يجب ان لا تتنازل عن جمهورها so the the cinema should not uh, give up on their audience الذي يبلغ مئات الملايين which can count up to hundreds of millions of people وهذه الملايين uh, تجعلك تعمل فيلم لهذه الملايين بشروطك انت And, uh, and the reason that we do the movie as we want it is because of the, the massive number of the audience. So because we have such a, an audience uh, um, level, so we can do them with our own conditions, so we can tackle with their feelings. Kavolo al-Mubda, lam yatanazal an al-jamahir, wa huwa yisawwil al-Rab. Kavolo, the creative Kavolo, he did not uh, uh, give up his... Uh, Francis, uh, Francis Ford Kavolo. Yeah, Francis Ford Coppola did not give up his ideas while he was doing The Godfather. Yeah, and the, also his uh, current movies, he did not uh, give up his ideas and he did not uh, leave his audience, though they are uh, complicated movies and understanding. Uh, this is from John Huston, from John Ford. دائما هنالك جمهور كبير ابو المسرح يعني بحدود المسرحيه مالته بحدود جمهوره المحلي even the great uh, the other great directors like Scorsese and uh, uh, and others they do not uh, leave their audience but when it comes to theater uh, they have a very limited uh, uh, audience that's why they are limited um. So uh, I would like to ask questions uh, through you, Christina. Uh, what are uh, the basic uh, technical uh, challenges that you have encountered while producing this film? Uh, we have less than the 10 minutes, so. You got mine? Hello? They don't hear it probably. Yeah. Hello? Hello. Sam? Yes. Sam. Sam, Sam I, 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 I'm anticipating a, a brief comment, brief answer. What are the basic technical challenges that uh, Dr. Taha encountered while producing this film? Uh, we have less than 10 minutes uh, left to this forum. Hey. <laughs> Uh, one of the biggest challenges he faced was like uh, the entire era now is a digital one and all there and all Dr. Taha's education was a just dynamic and mechanical one. Uh, and the camera which was used, Alexa, was uh, very complicated. Even the owner and the uh, cameraman had some options which he didn't know about. Uh, كذلك يعني واجهنا صعوبة في تصحيح اللون والصوت واضطرينا نستعين يعني بناس يعني خارجيين. 
Um, even we, we face some problems with the uh, editing the color and the audio, and we had to uh, consult people from outside of the country. الان عندي فيلم قاعد اشتغل عليه اعتقد تجاوزت هاي الصعوبات الديجيتاليه وراح نصير شويه احسن. And currently he's working on a movie that he thinks that he gained enough experience from the other movies that he worked on and he will overcome all the digital uh, challenges he faced in the, in the mentioned movies. Yes. Would anyone else like to ask a question? Like my question is <clears throat> how many person actually you had in your team, like in, in your working teams, who, who they are? Can you say like the audio person, the audio technician, the cameraman, the, the, the script writer, like how many of them? Um, te technically, 82 people worked on this movie uh, I know, as an overall. And, and sometimes that he, he took the help from uh, all the uh, students of uh, Fine, Art, Fine Art College uh, to assist them on uh, his uh, movie scenes. Dr. Haytham Abdelrazak, أساتذة القسم المسرح كلهم كل حسب يعني دوره من يجي لقطة من يجي مشهد يشارك. All, all the professors uh, in, in the in the theater department uh, who took part in the movie they were just all counted as uh, members of the movie also. كذلك أساتذة قسم التصميم. And design department also. وقسم الفنون التشكيلية بلاستيك أرت. And plastic art department. وأساتذة قسم الموسيقى اللي يمثلوا فعليا يعني music art, وكذا music art uh, professors and students who were playing all the uh, music in the movie أنا تعلمت من هاي التجربة قضية يعني بودي الناس تعرفها يعني uh, يلا قول هاي uh, and I have and I have learned some something from this experience that I would like uh, everyone to learn from it عندما أصور بسوق وأختار اللوكيشن when, when I shoot in a market and I choose the location of the uh, scene, كل الناس راح يظهرون باللوكيشن خاصة أصحاب الدكاكين. And everyone who's being shown in the scene from uh, even uh, the shop owners or the people who are working in the market. أريهم الكاميرا وأعرفهم على المصور وأعرفهم على فريق العمل وأنتم ويانا. والفيلم يصير كلش يعني الاجانب الاجانب ما يرضون عليه اذا يشوفون واحد يبغى على الكاميرا يمكن هاي فادتنا الى حد 60% 70% and i was uh, introducing ourselves and uh, even the team which was uh, working on the movie to everyone who was working in the scene even the normal people so they would not act uh, abnormally in, within the uh, shooting time of the movie so uh, and this has helped us a lot يعني هاي يعني بشكل عام أجوبة. دكتور طه، how many actually the production team like the technical people مو الممثلين؟ ثمانين ثمانين. production team. production team. ثلاثة وثلاثين. thirty three people. So, uh, Dr. Taha, can uh, you say something about uh, the budget and how much uh, did this uh, film uh, cost you? Approximately, approximately. About uh, uh, about 250,000 K. 250,000, yeah. Yeah, we have a والمنتج ايضا جاب مبلغ كبير اعطانا اياه اللي هو بعد قرر ان ما يشترك باي فيلم لانه صار لنا سنه ولا باقيين for two years uh, they've been spending all their salaries on uh, this movie so they can uh, produce it and even the producer has contributed with a big amount 
And after that, he just stopped making any movies because it was a big shock for them because for almost one year, they didn't make any more movies beside that one. Okay. Well, uh, Christine, I think we are about to uh, conclude uh, this forum. So I uh, would like to thank Dr. Taha Hassan for his contribution and for actually allowing us uh, to uh, share uh, with him uh, this experience coming from uh, a very powerful background uh, in terms of the Iraqi theaters, uh, the filmmaking theaters. Iraq is well known for its art. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, to connect the contemporary approach with the tradition and the heritage of the country is, is a great way to go. And also we appreciate the fact that uh, our audience uh, I always uh, see probably a lesser number, uh, but I, I would like to describe the, the audience as a quality audience, people that they, they have interest and also they have curiosity. And I think this, this forum opened um, our, our minds to how we can really answer the question to be or not to be in such uh, unprecedented time with the pandemic and, and with the coronavirus. Uh, so appreciate that. So on, on behalf of the Minikoff Institute of Global Engagement and Bridgewater State University, we thank you all for that, uh, for the time, wish you well. And also we would like to invite you to join us tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, we will be having a conversation with the president of Bridgewater State University, President Fred Clark. He will talk about the international or the education in general in the United States and the challenges with that. And also on Thursday, which is uh, November 19th, we will be talking with the really great speakers from different parts of the world about women's role in higher education. Um, so I would like to invite you, uh, we'll send you uh, the Zoom invitation, the Zoom, the Facebook of, uh, of uh, the global programs. So thank you so very much. And I will send it to Christina. If you want to say closing remarks just quickly, you have 30 seconds. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I know one of the questions about the film was, can we still make meaningful art? This film definitely answered that question. Absolutely, we can still make meaningful, meaningful art. I learned a lot about Shakespeare, a lot about Iraq, a lot about filmmaking from this wonderful experience. <clears throat> thank you, Sam. Thank you, Dr. Taha, of course. And also, uh, thanks to co-hosting Jabbar. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you so much. Uh, BCF, I remember, remember to protect yourself and okay. protect your family and, and your neighbors by putting the mask on, wash your hand, and always be mindful of yourself and others. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.